Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Tuesday the 20th of October 2020. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure to be with you today. I'm going to use the Wheel of the Year tarot for this reading. Let's see what the cards want you to be aware of and what energy you'll be working with here on Tuesday the 20th. So let's have a look. First card, we've got the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Then we have the Ace of Wands. And the Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, the Four of Pentacles, you can see this older man holding on to all of this wealth and all these riches, and he's peering behind him suspiciously, and it seems like he's waiting for someone to kind of catch up with him, and he's expecting to be stolen from. So he's bundled up all these coins and jewels in this bag, and he's doing a runner with them. The Four of Pentacles is the card that kind of indicates miserliness and focusing on your financial security as your only security it's like the story of scrooge you know at christmas who's greedy the only thing that counts is um, money and then all the ghosts come and visit him and he realizes that if he wants to be happy he kind of has to look at relationships and make amends and to try and be a better person so the four of pentacles is a card that says if you hang on to everything that you've got you're not going to be able to grow because you're going to be running trying to protect and secure what you've already got and also you're being somewhat myopic because you're only looking at the financial wealth at the financial security and the things that you can touch and feel and real security in life is feeling loved the building blocks of the universe are love so if you're in love with yourself if you're in love with life if you're in love with the universe that's when you're rich because that's when you attract every positive thing to you and you don't have to hang on to things like money and cash and security and certainly if you have good relationships and if you try your best and you you treat people well you're not going to have to look over your shoulder and no one's perfect so if you you know when you slip up once in a while and you don't treat other people well you make amends for your behavior and you apologize for your part and things. And then also, you don't have to live your whole life looking over your shoulder. If you're someone who has had that experience, you've done something that you're ashamed of, and you don't want to be found out, looking over your shoulder is exhausting. And it's no way to live. Because you're constantly hiding. And you're really manifesting negativity in your life with this kind of attitude. So first of all, the, the cards are saying that it's important to let things go a little bit and to not dig your claws into things because you don't know exactly what's at the end of the road or which direction to take. Should you go this way or this way or that way? It's really down to you and you can only make a good decision when you get rid of this in a way. You either store it properly, you don't make it the focus and the center of your life. The Ace of Wands is a gift from the universe and we've got this little fire devil here and a maypole. And it's a celebration of summer. It's a celebration of life being lived to the fullest. Usually with each one of these ribbons. They do this here in, in Glastonbury um, for the pagan festival Beltane, I think. And they put up a ma maypole and they dance around it. And it's really just a, a summer party. It's a celebration of... Um, the sun shining and the flowers blooming and the weather being nice and warm and it's it's a great time to come together with other people the ace of wands is a gift from the universe the way summer is a gift when you can just be outside and roam freely and enjoy yourself and it's like the first day of summer as far as your life purpose is concerned because when you're able to let go of things and to leave the past in the past and to not burden yourself down heavily Imagine this man is turning into this little fire devil. The fire devil is much smaller and he's much lighter and he doesn't have the weight of the world on his shoulders. You can see it by his posture. So try and let go of the things that you think make your life super secure because you don't really know what makes your life secure. And the only way to live and to have fun and to enjoy is to open up your arms and to literally let go of the things in his hands today 
so that you can dance around this pole and hold hands with other people and really enjoy the process of living. So turn your way, turn your face away from materialism and focus your attention on your life purpose and what brings you joy. Finally, we've got the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is fulfillment when it comes to relationships and all the things you love. So first of all, these two have found each other, the parents. They adore one another and they um, are married and they love each other so much that they decide to have a child. And that child loves the parents. They've got this amazing family unit. And that is, I think, something that if you haven't experienced it, it's, it's, it's not something you can teach another person. Being part of a family unit and feeling like you belong and knowing in your gut that you are really, really unconditionally loved, it's like a world of its own. So I like that they've put it in this little, um, it's almost like the world. It's, we've got this wreath of flowers and cups around them, protecting them, surrounding them with beauty and nature. And then the little kid has animals as well. So he's training how to love, how to take care of pets. The pets bring joy into all of their lives. So it's a mutually symbiotic relationship between all these people because they love and they receive that love back and they're all growing and becoming better people as a result. The suit of cups is about water. It's love, it's family, it's spirituality and it's having love for the process of life. Now, if we look at the cards this way, you let go of everything, you stop focusing on the material, the financial, you regain your inner fire and your zest for living. And if the card were upright like this, that would then lead to completion in terms of your, your higher self, in terms of your family life here on planet Earth, love being loved in a practical way, being able to share the love, being creative, tending to the flowers in the garden and watching everything bloom and grow. The card isn't upright, it's upside down. So it's not about what you've already got. It's what could be. And instead of hanging on to, oh, I don't have a family. I'm not loved. I'm not complete. I haven't got everything I ever wanted. Uh, welcome to the club. <laughs> I mean, not most people... I think on planet Earth, don't have every aspect of their life working perfectly. And that's why it's important to have a grid of different things that you do. So imagine your life as a, as a grid with lots, like a Christmas calendar, okay? So one grid is your family, then it's your job, exercise, your painting, the piano playing, the dancing, um, the friendship with your best buddy, uh, your health, your your um, career, your working relationships, and making your life as diversified as possible. Because when one square falls away, you still have other people to rely on and other things in your life that spread your energy around. If you only focus on one thing, let's say the only thing I care about is money, and you have nothing else in the grid, no family, no exercise, no love, nothing, just money. When the money goes, or if the money goes, then there's nothing. And this guy would be in a complete tailspin and he wouldn't know what to do with himself. So it's not about what you've already got. It's what you can add to the grid today. By letting go, you're able to rediscover your life purpose, your enthusiasm for, for life, and you're able to just let go and dance. And that then shows you what it is you can still manifest and what you can bring into your life. So listen to yourself today. Listen to the messages you get from your higher self and say, hey, this is really fun. And do that in the here and now rather than focusing on the past and what was. Oh, I grew up in a great family, but I'm um, a grown up by myself and I'm single, so I'm alone. Or um, I want a family, but I can't get a date. Or I always wanted to have children, but I have fertility issues, so I can't have my own family. Rather than looking at what's lacking, Look, look at what you've got in your life right now. Let go of all of that. Say, what can I add to it? What brings me joy in the here and now? And by dancing around the maypole, you create this magic that's going to manifest 
one of these cups in your life. So a family, a dog, a relationship, a hobby that you adore, etc. And it could bring one into your life. So dancing, or it could bring several. I go dancing at the Maypole and I meet the girl of my dreams and we get married and we have a kid. And it also gives you a sense of protection and wholeness because you don't need anything. You realize that the only thing you need is you in the present moment. And by being you in the present moment and either, well, you're not going to get out of Maypole and dance around it. If you do, if you have one in the garage, by all means, go for it. But most of us, are going to kind of um, figuratively be dancing around the maypole. And it's this um, manifestation dance. It's the dance of life. It's manifestation of what it is you love. And whether you have Zippo in your life or loads in your life, it doesn't matter. The protective wheel here is still in place and you're perfectly protected at all times. You are loved. You are a divine being and it really doesn't matter whether you're the richest most loved person in the world or if you aren't because it's all about you and what you can create and that is true abundance number wise we got 10 and 1 is 11 and 4 is 15 1 and 5 is 6 6 is a temporary opportunity it's um an an opportunity that appears today and it also closes again so you really have the opportunity to manifest and to do this amazing dance of creation and to bring more joy into your life. So take the opportunity. Beltane comes along once a year and symbolically we've got a spiritual Beltane happening today. So it's really time to have fun and to celebrate. Have an amazing day. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, just click on book your reading to order your reading with me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.